plus the Witcher Wyvern with the Arctic Burn. There's a lot of damage potential coming out from this tri lane. But they are rather squishy. And then it is going to be Mama's Boys picking up the lifesteal. Will not scatter that. Maybe they will. They don't have a center on them, I don't believe, though, for Saxa or Milan. But here we go. The Arctic Burn about to fly. The Telekinesis as well. Crypt Swarm is actually not available. It's going to be the Spirit Siphon. That is an easy first blood. As they also have the Precision Aura providing them that extra bit of right back home. He'll regen up, but you can already see the axe going to work in the jungle. I feel like this is a good try lane for Mama's Boys, but it's very tough. Kuroki is going to come through. They've got Lift Up again. They've got the Arctic Burn as well. Pycat much might just die again here, or rather for the first time. Body Blocks will come through. He'll try to juke and jive his way out. The last right pick will fly, and Kuroki will pick up the kill. And suddenly, Kuroki and Jerry can hero ever, and he is kind of bad for this reason. If, he, if he's against ranged heroes, he's not going to have a good time. He's against three ranged heroes. Like, you want to play axe against melees, but man, when they opened up with the axe pick, they just put themselves in this potential loss here. Yeah, the, the first axe pick coming out, maybe not the best. They're going to try to dive behind the tower looking for Kuroki. Good tell. He needs to watch. He's stunned the pocket, but the cast will come through. There's the breathe fire as well. And Kuroki's going to get caught. They don't have the call, however. Now Matumba Man's going to be the focus. But look, Toxa take that right quick damage. He's going to have to salve up. But it will go only for a moment longer. Kuroki, breathe fire. He should fall here. But still, Toxa will fall as well. Might be one for one trade. Kuroki trying to tangle up and reach it. He actually is going to survive with 4 HP. And Pycat will fall. His bottom lane is a disaster coming out. They're going to lose a lot as well. Last play quick. Gets off the cold embrace as well, and another kill going the way of Liquid. Already 5 0 in all. I'll play here in this early game. They are desperately trying to find a kill for themselves. They know they need some semblance of farm right now because every other lane's not really going for well for themselves. The cast will fly through. Cast. It'll bounce up onto Jirax and Kuroki as well. He's going to get caught, but he gets off the telekinesis left in time. Now this great cold embrace can be at the free fire will so come dead. through. Yeah, he's still in a lot of trouble. The cold embrace will not save him this time. And finally, Mama's boys will pick up a kill for themselves. We'll all for that. Pycat's actually very low. He's got a cell looking for an Arctic burn, but he's actually out of mana, so Jarek can't chase him down. Sal will fly through. Kuroki's got the lift. He's going to get it off in time. Pop himself as well. He's done. Fable will fly through. The cast will come in as well. Big fight already happening. Great cold embrace flies through. They have the battle hunger. But Tubman Man goes to work, and Saxa will be the first to fall. He gets off the call, but this is still going to be probably all three heroes dead from Mama's Boys. Great fairy fire. Jarek's about to go down, but if he's the only one that falls, for this three to one trade, then boy, is it worth it for Liquid as they'll pick up the third kill on the lot with the last right click and Kuroki will find himself a double kill. And they will lose their two. You have the double Wraith Fan and Boots coming up from a tub of man. Kuroki is already up to just about Arcanes. The earlier you get Arcanes, the better this hero is. It allows you to be so much more involved. Obviously, an early Blink Dagger is pretty damn good as well, but Kuroki's gonna roam mid. Maybe he's dead. Yeah. Oh, Nick will get the kill with the best. Yeah. You okay? You okay, JJ, JJ? you're gonna be all right, buddy. Listen, just deep breaths, my friend. Deep breaths. Back mid. Spirit Siphon Weeha. He will get off that Astral Imprisonment, but here comes the Arctic Burn. They get the lift off as well, and that is a dead OD. And it just feels like nothing besides that kill top. That they can't actually do very well in the trial anymore. They do get the tower, I guess, and that's gonna be some resemblance of, of advantage, but... Uh oh Fossil might go down here. They get off the cast coming through. They had the uh, dual breath up in two seconds. But oh no, the exorcism is going to come out. Now it's time to back away in Milan. He's about to go down. The last tick of the ghost will go through the stampede. They want to chase him further. They get the lift off from Saxa. He's in trouble. The ghost about to catch up as well. Crypt Swarm dead as heroes across the map. Fossil will get up the double kill. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Pycat's going to get caught. There's the cross arrows coming through. The slow up, the Arctic Burn going to work. And the last right click, and they get their time. He's fast. Dying He's got the battle hunger. But the gust will not connect in time. Jerax looking maybe for a splinter blast. He'll be able to do it. He comes out. And now he'll go down to the splinter blast of Jerax. Another kill going Liquid's way after just things you often see. is just getting that early ancient here for the uh, life stealer. I'll say shift one support to the oh, top lane, now. top lane. Stampede's gonna come through this, the cast as well. Slowed up, Saxon. Stomp double edge, easy kill. TP's coming through. Ice path is available. It's level two. He's trying to get it off. Kills. But Subman Man now has three Wraith fans, the good old three Wraith fan build. He's gonna get actually Ice Path, the dual breath will fly through, he'll try to TP away, and he will make it out just fine. And here comes the Exorcism, the Spirit Siphon, good Astro, but he's sitting at 18 HP, the cast will fly through, Ice Path, he gets off the ult before going down. The Spirit Siphon will continue to go to work for Fata. He's pretty damn speedy, it's gonna be tough to chase him down. The Life Stealer is on the chase, he's got open wounds, he pops out of the Ancient, and we'll go to work. Great call to Brace and Jirax, back behind the tree line, it looks like they can't get this kill. This Splinter Blast will come through, the call is up, they get the lift, but they will get the kill on Fata. Finally, they at least get one big kill going the way of Mama's voice, but... The damage out of his ultimate, um, he, they didn't quite get close to getting a kill, but that was a great attempt at keeping Death Prophet alive and getting as much value as they could out of the hero. Yeah, I mean, 
the supports are just doing a great job. There's going to be the gust that come. Are. There's going to be a frost arrow as well. They get the tower. Kinesis is going to have to himself. They get the tower while this is all happening. Stampede is fly. They've got the splinter blast. One more right there to do the job, but he's very fast. He'll make himself get away. Milan will come in. Two for saying, you know? That, like, yeah. they could have gotten two kills there. Easy. I think the second point for Frost here is really where you want to be at before getting that max out on your position. Or coming through Spirit Siphon, Fata will find an easy kill with the Crypt Swarm as well. And they're just running over Mama's Boys yet again. The Temple Man will start pushing down this tower. Jump in. There's already a blade from behind control. The stop will fly through. The gust comes out. Double Ice will go through as well. We are barely surviving. to bottle up as best as possible. Ash will come through on the other side. Pycat going to work with Nico. Jump again. The Temple Man might be in trouble. But the Great Cold Brace flies again. And they're all doing physical damage. They can't bring him down. He's back up to half HP. Now there's a stop coming up. Ty gets told the gust will fly through. He'll fall. The Spirit Siphon. Nico goes down and three dead. And Mamba's boys, even when they get a good the death profit against what they're playing against, it's, it's a lot of physical damage sources, and it and Draw Ranger is so weak to heroes running at them, which is what Mamba's boys has. But the <laughs> Vortex just stops it. Well, the winds of Reverend will go down. Stampede comes out. They get the cask off. Meanwhile, they're going to try to find with some man, though, why we're to help them up this time. The ice path to fly, and this will be a free kill for them finally. It's going to be the axe getting it. He's trying to get to that blink dagger, and we have. He's like, oh, I kind of want drum and a treads and a null talisman on Death Prophet, so she's quite tanky. Oh, he's gonna find Soxa here. That's an easy kill. Well, that is uh, double damage, stop, right click, double edge. And my supports, maybe even Matama Man as well. Fireball will be on the ground to try to kill this group. They'll get the tier 3 tower, jump in. There's gonna be a call. It's on a 2. Death Force will fly through as well. Matama Man, where does Curse fly? That's, I believe, on his high cap. There's the series. He They'll take down the drop. Can they get more? Is the question. My control is low. Had they had the infest that they would have gotten the kill. They're gonna defend their racks for now. They lost their tier 3 tower. You can see the Spirit Siphon going to work. Battle for Pycat onto Kuroki. He's still trying to walk away. He's got the telekinesis. The lift will go. They got the FS out if they need it. Another right click. Great ice pad somehow connects very much at the tip. And they'll pick up two kills with Pycat getting the calling blade. So they'll pick up Dragon who's actually about to die, and it will. Nico will jump out so that they don't get the last hit. Spell was stolen. Oh, jump and call. call onto two. Can they get anything done with this? Is the question. Because Zoxa is in trouble. The ass will fly out. The ice trap. Macro pyre. They pop the mech. There's going to be use to the exorcism. Fox is low. Great winners. Chris will try to turn this though. The exorcism going to work. Nikwa is low. He's got his best up and ready to go. He'll jump into a creep. Actually, into Pycat. They've lost the witch tracks. They're all so low. And Milan will be the next to fall as Fox to pop. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to deal with right now. That like if they just run into a gust or something like that, it just gets really hard for Mama's boys among the other abilities that they have. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be enough though. I mean, radiance is an amazing item for a number of reasons, Smith's chance, all that stuff. But you can see they've already lost two tier towers, and here comes the push. Yeah, they're gonna invest out. Now the jump in call, it's only gonna be out of my control. However, the spell will be stolen. He steals call coming through. They get the astral up as well. That'll be a friendly astral coming out. My control stay. People fly looking for Zoxa. Ice Cats will hit on the Fossa. There's the city. Scope does no damage whatsoever. The is still going to work. They've lost. We uh, at this point, my control will go and he'll pop the double edge shocks and getting heal up as best as possible. Podcat will get the call. They're gonna try to bring him into the base, won't quite so get close. there. They're all so low. The exorcism almost bringing Podcat down. Now Nick was getting focused to spirit siphon. There's the breathe fire, a double dual breath coming out. The death war doing nothing. And the gust will get the silence off in time. And they are corralled into the well. Their racks down bottom as fall well. on the get off a great call, but there's the word of Chris coming in and Pycat. We will see you later as he'll go down to the split the class of the right click. Next to fall will be the witch doctor. Four dead! And it's almost gonna be all five. A triple kill from a tumba ban. They'll have to buy back, but at this point it's pretty much all said and done. Look we're gonna look at it, take this game number two and then of course the series. Tumba oh. man is just actually melee fighting against a bunch of heroes that would normally completely wreck it, but look at the stun. Yeah, they're gonna get the stun up. Rampage, they're looking for it. They won't find it. Bots will get the kill. They do not get the rampage with the man. Says the GGWP twice. Maybe a little bit flustered, but that is it. That was an out draft right from the get go. An out play coming out from Liquid in that bottom tri lane. It was an impressive display from Jirax, Matama Man, as well as Kuroki, and uh, really just an amazing game from them, Purge. Yeah, they, they, they just absolutely won the lane. The minus damage from Rubik, the triple ranged with Drow Ranger versus the, the, the Axe plus two. They just can't match up against all of that extra damage. The, the Witch Doctor damage and the Jakira damage, plus they were fighting a level discrepancy, plus